Good morning guys, how are you doing today? I hope you're safe, hope you're at home. Ready for the next lesson? Phrasal verbs. What is a phrasal verb? Let's begin first by checking what a verb. A verb usually is one word. For example, run, swim, split. Those are verbs. One word. But when I'm talking about phrasal verbs, I'm talking, this phrasal verb comes from phrase. A phrase is more than one word. Brasil. Okay? So now I am understanding a little bit. Phrasal verbs, more than one word, verb. Okay. It's an action that implies more than one word. Where's my razor? Sorry. <clears throat> For example, It's 
pero verlos muere. Like, I'm looking forward to it. Estoy con la expectativa de hacer algo en el futuro. Sorry, I'm so sorry to go in Spanish. I really don't like to do this. <coughs> But uh, sometimes it's necessary to explain something in Spanish because we are not wholly bilingual and being pitched uh, in a virtual way is kind of more difficult. Uh, for example, I can say that Fatty uh, is looking forward to uh, play at school again. So, this phrase is going to be used anytime that something, somebody, or I am willing to do in the future. Now, let me see if there's something I'm missing. Or you can, for example, you can say it another way. Probably some of you, probably some of you, um, Some of you are some of you are looking forward to take the final unit exam. I'm just kidding. Nobody's waiting for that, right? So I'm just using examples. I don't want to get along with this uh, videos because you know you're very busy. You have a workshop to complete. Do the best you can. Have any questions? Let me know, kids. Stay safe. Stay at home. Do the best you can and keep it up with the good work.